This was um, week number five of six that we've got here. We're coming out of a beautifully, overly hot weekend. We started out, I think we did the basic sugar push, and we did some passes. We went one, two, three, and four, five, and left side pass. One, two, three, and four, five, and sugar. One, two, three, and four, right side pass. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. One, two, three, and four, left side pass under the arm, three and four, five and six, one, two, three and four, right side pass, one, two, three and four, five and six. Then we got into, um, well I'll just skip, we got into the rim action. So we were doing the sugar push and then the rim, which is a variation of the sugar push. We had sugar push being one, two, three and four, five and six, and the rim, depending so much on the positive connection of the follower pushing into the leader, the leader not stepping back too much. One, two, and I step to the side, and I shape it. Three, and four, five, and six. Mostly with the body, not with the hands. Up to speed with the rim. We've got one, two, three, and four, five, and six. We did the whip. We did a basic um, sugar push, and then we did a, a whip action. One, two, three, and four. Uh, sugar push, please. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. We talked about staying nice and close to our partner, not getting too far away from our partner as we dance. The faster the music, the closer we have to stay in the dance. On the whip, I'm stepping off the slot, and I'm not, if I was going to lead a pass, I would either step to this side, and she could pass me here, or I would step to this side, and she could pass me here, so that would be a pass. If I block the slot, it's a whip. If I step sideways off the slot, raise my arm, she turns on the end of one, and she backs into two, we rock together, here, straddle the slot on four, hook, and look where I'm going on five, five, Step in on six and triple it out. And then on the triples on the end, let me do the whip with it, some of the triple pattern patterns that we did on the end. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. So if I'm standing on five, that's um, you know, five. Then I can go, um, to, no, four, four, five, and six. So if my anchor's on four, I can go five and six. If my anchor's on six, like after a whip, I would go seven and eight. I think that's good enough. I better stop before I make more mistakes. All right. Thank you very much. We'll see you guys next week. We'll move on a little bit and do some more.